first gear nice and steady, so we're nice and relaxed, not right at the lines in case somebody makes a mistake. That's it, good. Okay. That's really fast. <laughs> Plenty of power before you go, that's it. You to keep it going. That's it. And then consider how to slow it in the protection and the safety of this slip roll. Are you happy with how we're conducting the lesson in terms of the way we're building on and adding on? Yeah. And eventually going to get to their motorways, but with everything already mm -hmm. in place. And for those watching, this is only the second time I've met you as well, isn't it? Yeah. So, and I think before we get there, so I'm going to get you on and off a couple of different slip roads now, mm -hmm. during the, this A road. I think we'll use every one off and every one on on the way back. Some of them are long, some of them are small, some of them are T-junctions. So that's going to be quite interesting when we do the T-junction. Fast, fast off of a fast off of a 70 into you know like that the sharpness of that turn that you just turned in at the bottom yeah. so if you didn't stay on the brake on approach you're going to feel really quick on the turn and you mm. could go wide you know and you could and if you're still quick you'll mislead cars they won't change so as you're slowing you're going to help the cars behind you start changing lanes some of the lazy ones won't they'll keep getting closer and closer and closer and as you turn in they'll be right behind you so it's a real art to get it right, and I think just good observation, good control, good planning, giving people early warnings is key. Okay. Yeah. Shall we have a look? Yeah. Drive on when you're ready. somebody up that's currently in the left. Set more revs as the gap's developing, if you see what I mean. So middle to middle, but because that left disappears, the middle is now your left. Again, another element of that spiral going on on this roundabout. Plenty of 
speed on here, big long slip road on this one. As soon as traffic could potentially see you, I'd give a signal. Just so they just so it alerts them. So those who are switched on, it'll be obvious, but they're not all switched on. So signal now. Start checking your mirrors and looking forward as well. Identify the length of the slip road, it's really important. Good. in the parking bay down there. Check your escape route. It could move out without a signal. Think now about your road position. Check your left mirror. Those cars are going quite slow, so earlier rather than later. Start thinking about, you know, if you'd want to go around. Think about what speed you're doing, what speed they must be going to do in about 50 then per hour. stayed on the brakes, how would that have been? Probably going to the other line, right? I reckon so, yeah. yeah. Uh, you'd have been too quick, you'd have needed to steer sharper and faster. And what I notice on the edge of them roads is a lot of grit. Mm -hmm. You know, where the cars on the faster roads are chucked to the side. So if you turned on grit, what would, fast on grit as well, what could happen? Either skid or pump the tyres. Could do, yeah. More, more so skidding. Yeah. Well, the, but, I mean, if there's some glass or something, I don't know. Car parts, maybe. With them. I've seen somebody in the bush a couple of times on these. I use these quite a bit because I'm local um, and it helps me get to to and from. How did you find it? I guess it's just a matter of not knowing on all the slip roads how much to break. Sorry? 
like if it's a sharp or slip road, I don't know how much exactly to break. Mm. Do you know what I always do? I always have a... I identify where the kerb starts to peel inwards, because mm -hmm. that's the actual turning, but that's where the steering wheel's going to turn, isn't it? That's where the manoeuvre really happens. Right in. So let me just show you. Um, I always, 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 it's like an invisible line in my mind, but I do it on roundabout approaches, I do it on any turn. You, you, you may have heard me do it, say it in videos. Do you know what I'm going to say? Let's say that's your roundabout approach there. So by this point, done everything. So you'd be, uh, you'd have done your mirrors, signal, position, speed, and all that's left to do here is look. Right, forward, right, forward. And that's how you keep moving, because the clutch is up. You can break a little bit if you want, you can drop the gear, got loads of time. But that, that's, how I'd, that's how I'd do it. I'd think, right, so, so to do that, you've got to identify where's the actual bit where you'd, you'd do the minute. So here, it's, it's there, isn't it? That's the giveaway yeah. line. If it was a, a slip road like we've just what we've just done, it's uh, well, I mean, well, let's just say this, let's just say it's uh, coming down the road really fast, 70. You want so you you've identified that's the bit where you're going to turn the wheel. Mm -hmm. So everything needs to be done at that point. But let's have a bit of time to spare as well. Maybe let's add a car length to that. So everything's done there. Mm -hmm. Done, dusted. Yeah. Did that even answer the question? What was the question? Yeah, no, it's just um, like on the actual bend. Yeah. I thought it was almost too slow. Yeah, what you did, because you're getting used to that. Um, you're right, well spotted. It wouldn't be enough for me to give you, not give you a time at that, but, but, but for me, you're learning that thing or I don't know if you're learning it but but you weren't doing it so much earlier where you're staying on the brake for longer now the more you do that you'll decide when actually do I feel under control can I come off the brake that little bit earlier this time mm -hmm. should I stay in it a bit longer or actually should I come off it at the same time as I come off the clutch like the same time you come off the clutch mm -hmm. but that depends on how you feel but what you did that time was, I think you'd come clutch up and stay braking for a little bit longer than you needed to. Okay. Sometimes you might need it, sometimes you might not. So yes, it was probably, you kept braking, so it was a little bit slower than you needed in that respect. Yeah, I think it's because about the full turning into, uh, into like whatever band. Uh, it's because I was kind of taught to just get the speed and everything before the bend and then just put it pedals off and turn kind of like let go obviously with the clutch but no gas no I'm not sure how right that is but that's what I was told say, to say that again sorry well say if I'm turning get all the speed and gear done before the turn and mm. then just almost turn without pedals yeah 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 it's right so that's why I kind of didn't break the brake I don't know didn't stay on the brake you yeah. mean yeah, I mean, it depends how, that's what I mean. I think when you're teaching, nothing can be clear cut. Or not, for me, in my experience, it can't be as simple as that. But there's so many variables and so many differences. So we've got to analyze it and think, well, for this particular one, this needs this. Mm -hmm. Because actually, we've not approached it at 30, we've approached it at 70 to get, basically, you need control and do whatever it needs to, to get that control in short terms. Hopefully, get you doing that by yourself by the end of the course. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? <laughs> Sorry? Obviously. If not, then I'm going to have to get some more lessons. <laughs> I mean, that would be the smart thing to do. Yeah. It, it, look, it's not something you'll do every day. It depends on where you live. But like you say, it will come up in your driving career. 100%. Um, all making sense, everything so far? Yes. Are you learning? Yeah. Good. The, we've also... So, we did the spiral roundabout earlier. And we turn right for Long Eaton. Does it make sense what we did? Yeah, we just moved. Um, well, yeah, because we're go coming off of one of them. So, Long yeah. Eaton, we? When we move off, we just go to the normal driving lane, which was left. But we was in the right to begin with, weren't we? Yeah, because we were going all the way around. That's it. 
it's just kind of hard to follow because it's such a big roundabout so I almost forget what, what, what exit you're at so it's more of I guess looking at the road markings it's harder to count exits on those type of roundabouts mm -hmm. I think there's two major things to, to look for and bear in mind on these spiral roundabouts for me personally any ideas what two vital things I was kind of mentioning them on there particularly one of them when we uh, was doing it there was either right lane or Cars. Well, we started in the right, we spiralled to the middle, and we followed the middle, and then we ended up in the left. Mm. But, you need to know your destination on them. I did a, I think I did a video on spiral roundabouts actually, might be good to give that a little watch. Uh, click on the link now and you'll see the video. But, so if you're going long eaten, you're going to see it confirm, maybe LNG on the floor and then it's going to confirm when you're on the roundabout, LNG. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, there'll be a big sign with, with the three lanes in and the different... Um, so I'll have long eating in the middle there. Uh, sorry, in the right, because it's right. But after this bit, it'll have long eating in the middle on the big it's sign. Like it kind of guides you. So if you get your head up a little bit early and have a look across, also look at the floor, and think, oh, I'm generally turning right, so I'm going to spiral somewhere. I can't stay in the right, so I've just got round and round and round and round. You've got to come off, haven't you? So it's looking at the road markings and the road signs in advance. And that's why I said to you, if you're going to give yourself a chance of doing that, you've, you've got to do what with your speed? Just ease off a little bit and stay off. A bit like that roundabout approach we're talking about. Just stay off that and just be a bit slower a bit earlier. The amount of, the amount of extra information you'll be able to take in will be unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And then when you've decided, you can speed it up a little bit, ease off when you come to the next bit. But but generally, do you know when to expect spirals on these big roundabouts? That's another thing. Know when to roughly expect it. If you notice when it when an, when a, an exit comes off, so when an exit comes off like this one, then that will start a spiral. You see another exit comes off here, mm -hmm. that will start another spiral, so them lines peeling out from the middle of the roundabout. So if you see exits on your left, look forward, because there's probably going to be a line that moves you outwards. Mm -hmm. See how it works? You mean this triangle? Yeah, because that just sort of comes from the middle of the roundabout, doesn't it? It's yeah. like a, it, it's almost... So it just shows that it continues into... Well, it's moving you out from... It's not, it's moving you out. Oh yeah, to the exit, yeah. From the, what was the right hand lane for you, mm. and because of them broken lines there, it's moving you then on, you should follow middle, middle, middle. And then naturally, it just because that lane's gone, it becomes your, um, becomes your left then. Mm -hmm. And did you see, I said, uh, I said there's a white sign there, it says long eaten on it. Mm -hmm. So that can help you as well all the information's there, it's just spotting it and I think yeah. Yeah, if you are steady a bit slower, plus it's like controlled, right? so you don't want it mm -hmm. too quick because you have to slam on, you'll have more chance of spotting your signs. Oh, would you say this is more in depth sort of analysis as to these different things? I don't want to... Yeah, I can't say I really did roundabouts, I mean not roundabouts, uh, spiral roundabouts, I mean I went through them a few times. The, just the bigger ones, but didn't really talk about it much. You didn't cover it as no. such. Okay. Any questions? Any thoughts? Other than no, that? I think I got it now. One more thing. We're going to turn around on this road, and we're going to get back onto the A, f the A road. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, for those watching, it's the A52, and then we're going to enter that road from that same T junction, so from stationary. A couple of things. Have you ever seen anybody do this, or have you ever have you done this before? You mean the T junction? Yeah. Well, was it we're on the fast road and we're joining a small one, or we're going to be on this road, which is a residential road, 30, but yeah. it, but at the end of it, it leads you on to that okay. dual carriageway. Yeah, you can see that. Speeding fast. Yeah. No, I haven't been there. What's the risk? Do you think? Misjudging. Yeah. Speed. Um, you definitely want to make sure you're in the correct gear. Don't imagine moving off in third and stalling. Mm. You're a sitting duck, aren't you there? So, yeah, so probably first gear, obviously, because you've been waiting for a while. Definitely. Um, select first, expect to stop. Why is it important that you put the handbrake on if you're waiting? Because someone slams into you? Definitely. 
Yeah. Or unless you, you know you could stall and lurch forward or whatever. So worst case, just put the handbrake on. Now I'm going to ask you to do something that could be perceived as a little bit, a uh, little bit weird. I don't know. Uh, let's just say it's, let's just say it's this. It, it's just, a, it's not really the right thing, but it, it's the same concept. So we're turning left. Obviously, angle the car left, like you know, like you normally would, yeah. right? But then. You could signal left, of course, I mean, you're going to see a blue circle there, which reminds you it's one way, so both, you know, traffic coming down at 70 this way. Why, why would I ask you to signal right, not left? You're turning left. Why do you think a right signal would potentially be more beneficial? Oh, well, because they can see that I'm going to go Yeah. Like these cars going? Yeah, yeah. But wait, uh, are these both going that way? Yeah. Oh, just so they see the one I want to join or? Like yeah. ahead of like signal in the far distance? Yeah. Look, it's obvious where you want to go, but it's only obvious to those paying attention, isn't it? Yeah. This flashing could alert them sooner. So what might this one do if it gets alerted sooner? Yeah, maybe change it. Could do. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't expect it, they don't have to. Because who's got priority? They. Sorry? They do. They do, yeah. Because we've got a pass giveaway like mm -hmm. So I would signal right. The car behind, look, if it thinks we're going to turn left, then, uh, right, sorry, then, well, I don't know really, <laughs> but uh, from our positioning, you see, it'll be obvious that we're turning left. So let's let's just use that. These guys might be tired, fatigued, so we're just telling them a bit earlier. Make sense? Yeah. When we go, we're going to need to get up to speed with some conviction, which is why, you know what you said earlier? You think uh, about once we go onto the road, you yeah, well, as we pull off, it's going to need mm -hmm. to be fairly fairly nifty, fairly quick. You might benefit from doing some block changes, because if you're using lots of revs, by the time you get to your next gear, it'll yeah. sl the engine brake will slow you down, you'll be ready for the mm -hmm. next one. Yeah. So, you mentioned earlier about getting a 1.2. Mm -hmm. I would just be careful, I've had a lot of people say this, that they've bought car and it, it hasn't got sufficient power to keep them I know, yeah, but safe. the insurance is so crazy for higher, uh, bigger engines, I mean. Yeah, I understand. I think sometimes makes and models can make a difference. If it's a make, if it's a make and model that a lot of young people get, you know, stereotypical, oh, I'm saying more, but you use, you use your own, that can be more expensive, but as far as I'm aware, anything up to a 1.4 is kind of reasonable and shouldn't impact that as much have a look into it yeah but um, just make sure if you do because some of the some of the newer ones the lower engine are really quite powerful they've got quite a lot of oomph mm -hmm. some of the newer some of the older ones they haven't really got that yeah. speed to keep you safe sometimes it's just it's just something to think about yeah that's what i've been told about that zero to 60 it's really slow for zero to 60 in two years <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. So we'll, uh, we'll turn it round. Um, can you turn the car around, do you think? Yeah, um, there's the no, a few people around. If you think the people would benefit. Is there a back in the chair? Oh, the one's back there, in yeah. the van, you mean, yeah. or is it something I can't see? Well, they're going to be moving off soon. I think if they do move off, they'll be going the opposite way, won't they, as well? Yeah.
later, everybody's going to start somewhere. I admire you for uh, furthering your skills here. Respect that. So, yeah, anything behind us? No. So pop on your right signal. Clutch in first gear, nice and steady here, so we're nice and relaxed. Right up to, well, not right at the lines, in case somebody makes a mistake. Pause here, handbrake on, set the feet. Now, you see that car coming? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pull out in front of it. No. Why not? There's cars behind it. Going much quicker. Mm. So always make sure you can see, never use them as a shield. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just for those watching, we've got a car coming off as well. Yeah, right, get your, get your revs ready. You know when you anticipate taking a gap, just look at the mm. curb as well, on the left. Mm -hmm. That's it, good. Okay, straight in the centre mirror, anything we missed? Yeah. Good, lots of power then in second. And a block change two to four. Nice and relaxed with the gear stick, good. Lots of power, big output, a big burst of speed, four to six. Fantastic. Check the escape route in case something appears here. All right, we could have done that one coming and off, but we'll do another one. Do you want to have a go at doing the oh, next one? To come up. No, no, we, we could have, I said, but it, no. it would have interfered with what we were doing then. Is that okay? That feeling okay? Everything there making yeah. sense? Do you see the overhead bridge ahead? Mm. Fancy coming. So does that indicate the slip road? Uh, not always, but generally speaking, from local knowledge, yes, here. There's no sign to look, unfortunately, so for me, that's a clue that we could use. If there's a walkway, there's probably a, a roadway as well. You know what I mean? It's like a continuation of the footpath. Mm. So I'm going to. It might be a bit late now to start preparing, okay? So I'm coming Yeah, so keep braking. Brake, 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 brake. That's it. Let's make it nice and smooth. Not too slow, not too fast. Just a second. Uh, just a second. That's it. And off the brake gently and off the clutch. Quite good, that. And I'll swing, I guess. I was in two minds whether we are going to do it, whether we are having enough time. Well, there was no one. No, exactly. Okay. Well done, yeah. So, proper real life thinking here. Happy with that. Yeah. I can remember not to speed after high speed roads. <laughs> yeah, so regular glances at your speed up. Because it's easily done, isn't it?
close. Yeah. A bit late to ask. Almost her. seems like a cold day. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. I could have asked a bit earlier rather than waiting an hour and 50 minutes into it. Well, I mean, if I would be freezing out, it's only. <laughs> safer I think to just you know stop there rather than coming through. I think we'd have had to have breathed in wouldn't we if we'd have gone through there with the bush. Well, he wouldn't wave thank you. <laughs> Kept him happy. <laughs> what you did that? No I said if we oh. went through then he would. Yeah 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 <laughs> got you. Instead of waving thank you. Round this sharp bend here there's a, a left turn when we get past the bend so just take the next left. You want to go at doing the? I'll let you focus. Sorry. Do you want to go at doing that slip road yourself, entering from a standstill at the T junction, turn left at the end? Uh, you mean the? Onto the A road. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm here if you need me. It's a different one. It looks similar, doesn't it? So similar. That's it. Good stuff. That's really fast. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Plenty of power before you go. That's it.
getting busier and busier all the time. I find it quite difficult to keep up with everything, to be honest. So it's only so that that might mm. again that might save you from getting a ticket in the future. Because it was bigger, right? Well, it, yeah, it means it's a new limit because it's bigger rather than a smaller repeater, which is just you know pinned on the lamppost. Mm. Again, like that big one there as we passed it. But it's not actually forty though until you're level with the mm. sign. Not on, not not as soon as you can see it. If that makes sense. I thought I, because I thought I missed some forty signs. So I was like, oh. What? Oh, okay, yeah. So that makes sense. So you're saying. I thought all that road there was just going after turning, what was it, round about to whatever. The junction? Yeah. Where you're um, traffic light control. I thought that was a 40 road. So I thought yeah. I was going like 10 miles under. So here, what does that mean? Both sides and bigger circles. It's going to be 30 from that line. A new speed limit, yeah. yeah. to stop um, it's just because I want to just decide what we're going to do because we've got an hour left have we? yeah we have we've got an hour left I've got to go back to, to town as well and finish off mm -hmm. I feel in, in my mind let me and I just want to get sort of discuss it with you in my mind I feel like we've set up quite nicely for a motorway session there mm -hmm. giving you the skills and whatnot country roads did you do much on that because that's part of the pass plus syllabus anyway did you do much on country roads before. Yes, quite a lot, but for, I don't know, how many lessons, probably 20 lessons, I felt quite 
not safe going the speed that you're allowed, you're allowed like the 60. I was probably going at about 40. Yeah. I feel like most of them are kind of not safe for 60 anyway. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be good probably to incorporate that into today's lesson. Mm -hmm. And we can look at different types of country roads, wide ones, fast ones, ones where you could get up to speed, and maybe that lead us onto single track roads where if we meet a car we, we could have a problem yeah. where somebody might have to reverse or have you ever done any of that? Single track roads no. Okay, so now would be the perfect opportunity I think, based yeah, on where yeah. we are. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Is that fitting in with what you sort of wanted to achieve from this course and everything? Yeah. And then tomorrow I think we could get straight on to you know the motorways and Oh uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Don't know where that come from. <laughs> but yeah. Okay? Yeah. We'll have a chance we're doing it, mm -hmm. okay? Any known concerns? No. I've Just with everything so far. Yeah. Alright. So. What what I would be looking out for then, based on what I've seen with you already, is positioning for the bends. You have to come up to a right bend. Mm -hmm. What would give you an earlier view around that right bend? And a safer well, driving uh, line you mean as well. Moving out to the left. That's right? it. Yeah. You mean like actually when I'm driving? Yeah. yeah. So you identify the bend coming up. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's going to give me the best chances of doing the best job around this bend? Yeah. Well, so so yeah. That way then. Right. What's the danger in going to the right too much though? If the road's narrow, um, you know, if you're going around a left bend, the opposite. What's the danger? What's the added well, danger? The yeah. So that's a consideration that we need to make. Um, if the road's really wide, we can probably do a little bit mm. to the right. But if it's narrow and they're badly positioned, hugging the centre line, which people probably will and they shouldn't be, it could be double trouble. So we've got to, got to wait up. Mm -hmm. um, the general rule, have you ever heard this rule? Only go as fast as you can see to be clear. Yeah. So that you know what's the next bit. I don't know. You know <laughs> you you know you can stop in time then. Oh, okay. You know. So if you can't see around a bend but it's really sharp. Well, we better make sure that no matter if there's something the other side. So this is weird because on one uh, on my test on the country road there was a sharp blind bend, so I slowed down to about 25 miles an hour, and she went like this. And I was like, "What's wrong with that?" I was taught to slow down on blind bends, right? To about like third gear. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the problem was with that. I'm not sure if she marked me for that. It was probably another factor. Because the, there was no one behind us, it was quite smooth. No, um, that's quite strange. It's hard to say without being there. Was your instructor sat in the back? No. That's a shame because he'd be able to give some insight as mm. to why that was. Uh, any, for anybody watching, make sure you get your instructor in on your test. No, she didn't even go like this, as in like almost hitting the emergency brake, but she was kind of like almost startled a bit. I don't know. Didn't expect it, surprised yeah. her. Maybe she didn't see the bend, I don't know. <laughs> hmm, strange. Uh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, should we have a look? Yes. Yep, so if you could follow signs for the exit or any one ways, if there is any, on the car park. One way? Yep. Right. 
accents, aren't they? Dry. We'll keep slightly left. Take give an early view around that bend. Check your mirror if you're in doubt. Keep on the power. So back on the power. Keep checking your speed up. Looking in the road ahead. That's it. Good stuff. Speed limit is. Yep. And these roads look out for all the clues, all the warnings. These could keep you alive. These, you know, anything that could be coming up, they will tell you generally. There's the odd mistake where it doesn't tell you, so you've got to, again, that's why you need to keep your wits about you. Making good progress for now. How far can you see? As we get closer, if the view starts to come in, we know it's not that sharp. Back on the power now, now braking. No sign of any sharp bends, you know, warnings of bends, warning triangle. If there was, they'd have to put, normally put signs there. Okay. What's that white sign suggest? Some kind of touristy thing or a yeah, village or something. That's it. So I'd start checking the mirror, just ease on. And yeah, it is. So, so that means it's a, like, say, a village. So the speed's probably going to lower any evidence of that. When you do your gears, remember to just pop it, be nice and relaxed. So here would be fourth gear? I'd go, uh, go fifth on. Okay. Sorry, what, the advice I give didn't match what was meant to happen. I, I kind of blame myself for that. If you pop it, it's always going to go in third, which is what it did. And actually, you wanted to fix it, so you keep it oh, towards. Okay, so, to so yeah, blame me for that. We went third instead. We definitely had enough engine braking down the hill though. It's getting hot up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, must we do 20 here? It says 20 max speed. Uh, so if it's school time, no. So if it was um, if it was nine o'clock in the morning, it was Monday morning, it was in term time, mm -hmm. would you have to do 20 then? Probably not. Uh, well, it's advised. It's advised, is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it a must? Is it a no, must? But you should definitely take it into consideration yeah. now. And do what's reasonable. If it's packed full of people. It's not in the red circle, right? Exactly. But if it's packed full of people, like you say, I mean, you'd be stupid not to, and it would definitely be used against you should, should something happen. It's there for a reason, isn't it? Mm. Just wanted to make sure that you didn't, you know, because a lot of people um, aren't told about them. I didn't know that until I started learning to drive that. If it wasn't the books, I must have missed it because I didn't know what it was yeah. until it came up in the lesson. Right, we're going to turn uh, left at the traffic lights. So what's the new speed limit for the new road? Yeah. Any new information for that new road before we get there? Mm. Shouldn't have any lorries you down there, should we? What is it, seven and a half ton? Except for access. More than the lorries, just look for early information. Really, that's all I'm trying to really promote. If you see what I mean. Consider coming off the gas momentarily, just before you steer. Get a bit of more con control. You know, if you just felt a bit like oh, steer quick, didn't it? Maybe because it was still accelerating. Uh, so pretty. <laughs> they are nice. Um, I quite like the RS version. Are you into your cars? Hmm? Are you into your cars? Yeah, depends. There are some I like. Did you catch the speed limit? 60. Okay. And what do you see ahead? Sharp bends. Okay. I'm not going to speed up. Good. And the positioning on approach to allow us to have an earlier view. Good. Back on the power. Just a little keeping left. So I feel like I'm going to go over Should you check your mirror? Uh, you see? Got a lot of room. <laughs> also, it gets you out of the way of the oncoming cars. If they're overtaking mm. a cyclist or something stupid, there's a little bit of extra room for error. Uh -huh. So just easing off for the bend. The aim should be not to break. So if you ease off early enough and keep that smoothness, that continuity with it, that'll be a little bit better there. Same again, just easing off, just cover the brake. As soon as the view's back in, just tickling that gas back in and keeping that speed up. Almost.
something sort of noticeable. The more you practice, the more you'll be okay with it. 